Today, we are talking all things candy, right here in Savin's World. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Savin's World, the gaming channel for all things Seven Days to Die. Now, if you are ready to learn all things Seven Days to Die and take your Seven Days gameplay to the next level, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you do not miss a single one of our tutorial videos. Today, we are talking all things candy. In the recent Alpha 19 update, the Fun Pimps have introduced candy into Seven Days to Die. The various candies are food items that will boost your stats for a short period of time. Each candy offers unique buffs which can be very beneficial in certain scenarios. So we are going to take a look at each one of these candies to see exactly what they do. So let's head inside and let's get to it. There are a total of 11 new candies that have been introduced into 7 Days to Die. What I did is went ahead and kind of separated them out into two separate categories. There are combat candies or combat related candies and then non-combat candy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate this out into two different parts. So today, we're going to be talking about the first set, the combat candies. The first candy we're gonna talk about is Atom Junkies. Atom Junkies gives you an explosive damage of plus 50%, explosive block damage of plus 50%, a duration of five minutes, and it also gives you five food. So in order to test the Atom Junkies, what I've done is I've got a bear sitting right up there. I've got my rocket launcher with my uh, rocket frag ammo. And what we're going to do is we're going to shoot this bad boy with a rocket with no candy. See how much damage we do. Take the candy, shoot another bear with the rocket, and see if there's any difference in the damage done with the candy or without. So first up, let's get him zoomed in here. We'll shoot him right in the butt. Boom. All right, let's go see how much damage we did. We have done, uh, looks like 990 damage. So let's reset, let's take the candy and let's see what we do with the candy. All right, we've got our bear spawned in. Let's go ahead and eat our Atom Junkies. And let's zoom in on his hind quarters. And boom, let's go see what we did. Okay, so we did do a bit more damage. We did, let's see, 1117. So not quite 50% more damage than the original. However, explosives are tricky. The way the game calculates explosive damage is complicated. So technically, it, we are getting the 50% boost, but explosive damage takes into consideration a lot of factors, including where exactly on the enemy that you hit. So unless you get it hit perfectly, exactly in the same spot, it's impossible to get perfect results with explosive weapons, just so you folks know. Um, so this does demonstrate that yes, you will get a boost to your explosive damage, but again, explosive damage is the way it's calculated is very tricky. But at least we can demonstrate that the Atom Junkies does give you a boost to explosive damage. The next candy is Covert Cats. This candy will give you a sneak damage of plus 50%. It has a duration of five minutes and gives you five food. Now, in order to test our Covert Cats, what I've done is I've gone ahead and spawned in a couple of zombie Arlene's. We're going to go ahead and go into sneak mode, and we're going to put one round into Arlene's booty. Now, you'll notice it says sneak damage 1.5 times. So let's go and see how much damage we did to Arlene. All right, so we did uh, 72 damage. Not too bad. With uh, That's without the candy. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take the candy and we're going to do a sneak shot on the second Arlene here. So let's go ahead and take our covert cats. Get into sneaky sneak mode. And again, we're going to shoot her right in the booty. All right. Let's see how much we did. Now, you'll notice it said sneak damage 2.0, and we got her all the way down to 29. So we did uh, 96 damage with the Covert Cats. So there you, you can see that the Covert Cats will increase your sneak damage. 
The next candy we want to talk about is Nerd Tats. This candy will give you a shock AOE radius of 1.2 meters. That means shock area of effect radius. It has a duration of five minutes and gives you five food. Now in order to test the Nerd Tats, I've spawned in a whole bunch of Arlene's. And I'm gonna show you what this does uh, to your stun baton. So now we have our stun baton with charge. And you'll notice when you hit the group of zombies here, only one zombie gets stunned. Now let's go ahead and take our nerd tats. And we've got a charge. Let's go ahead and see what this does to the zombie jerks now. Boom, look at that. It stuns a whole crap ton of them. Oh, nice. Look at that. So if you get the zombies all grouped up like that, you can actually stun a whole bunch of them or, or shock a whole bunch of them at the same time if you have your nerd tats. Unfortunately, the nerd tats does not work with anything except for the stun baton. Let me demonstrate. So I have a line of our lanes here. There's four of them right in the line. Their AI is turned off right now, but I do have my electric fence all set up and ready to go. So let's go ahead and re-up our nerd tats here. Boom. Let's turn on their AI. Let's get them coming straight for us. Now, since they're so close together, you would think that if the nerd tats worked on all electricity, this should electrocute more than one of them at a time. But you'll notice... They do not get stunned until they actually hit the fence. Doesn't matter how close they are to each other. So unfortunately, the nerd tats does not work with electric fences. It only works with the stun baton. Which is a shame, because I think it'd be pretty cool if you could increase the stun radius of or the shock radius of your electric fences as well. Unfortunately, it only works with the stun baton. And as you guys know, my personal opinion on the stun baton is that it is absolute trash and uh, pretty much worthless. The next candy on our list is Skull Crushers. This candy will increase your melee damage by 50%. It has a duration of five minutes and will give you five food. In order to demonstrate the Skull Crushers, I've gone ahead and spawned in a couple of Zombie Arlene's. I've got a tier one wooden club here. And what we're going to do is we're going to smack her on the booty without the candy first. And then we're going to take the candy and smack her on the booty again. So first up, regular attack right on the booty. Boom. Okay, and that did 20 damage. Now, let's go ahead and take our Skull Crushers. Let's go on to Arlene number two, and once again, we'll smack her regular attack right in the booty. And we will look and see that, yes, it did 30 damage. So there is that 50% boost. The last candy on our list today is the Oh Shits Drops. This candy gives you negative 100% fall damage, for a duration of five minutes, and it also gives you five food. Now, while the Oh Shits Drops may technically not be a combat candy, I did feel that it belonged with this group a little bit more than the other group for one simple reason. Generally speaking, you are gonna be using this candy after you have raided a very big POI. Like Dishong Tower, for instance. Let's say you have just fought your way through all of the zombie jerks in this giant building, looted all of the good stuff, you're over encumbered and you're like, I don't really want to have to work my way all the way back down through the building. I want a quick and easy way out of here. Well, all you have to do is come to the edge, take your oh shits drops, And for five minutes, you will take no fall damage. So here we go. Whee! And boom, all the way down, no fall damage. Now let me go ahead and get make my way back to the roof because there's one more thing with this candy I do want to cover. 
So we are back up on the roof of Dishon Tower. I went ahead and cleared out a few blocks here because I wanted to demonstrate something that I, you folks need to be aware of. The oh shits drops do not affect you when you are riding a bike or a motorcycle or any kind of vehicle. All right, so we're at the top of Dishon Tower. We've got our motorcycle here. And let's go ahead and take our oh shits drops. Now we shouldn't take any fall damage. However, if you hop on your bike and you floor it and off we go. And boom. Oh, ouch. That hurt. <laughs> we took a lot of fall damage. So the oh shits drops affects you. It does not affect your motorcycle. So be careful. Now, granted, you're probably not going to have your motorcycle on you all the way up the top of Dishong Tower. Uh, but if you're out and about and you uh, happen to fly off a cliff or something while you're on your motorcycle, the oh shits drops are not going to help you. They only affect your character and your character alone. So I would recommend bringing some oh shits drops whenever you're going to be looting a really tall, one of the towers especially. Go ahead and bring some of these. That way, as soon as you are done looting, you're up to the roof, you've got all the good stuff, you want to get on your merry way, you don't have to work your way through the building, all you got to do is take some of those drops and boom, drop, out the, uh, drop off the roof all the way down to the ground, and you are good to go. So there you have it, folks. That was All Things Candy, Part 1. Is there anything regarding this set of candies that I may have missed? Let me know in the comments below. But for now, this is Savin saying thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me in Savin's World. If you found this video helpful and or enjoyable, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. And if you're feeling especially generous, go ahead and give this video a like. And remember, the average gamer is always king of the hill on the bell curve.